Hey guys, Tyler again with AR500 Armor, and today we are doing a quick tabletop overview of our Invictus plate carrier. So you know about our Testudo, you know about our Veritas, and you know about their light variants, but you might not know about our Invictus. So what's unique about the Invictus is it's actually a laminate design plate carrier. We use a laminate nylon um, as opposed to a traditional nylon with webbing. So what that means is we actually laser cut slots in the webbing on the Invictus plate carrier. That gives it a very, very thin profile overall. And uh, it's actually designed to be a jumpable carrier. And in addition, it is a QD carrier to where we actually offer optional QD pull tabs that you can attach to each or one shoulder. And as you pull them, it will, it will release your shoulder uh, pads and allow you to quickly get out of the plate carrier. So you'll notice on the shoulders, very similar to our Freeman, which is also a laser cut carrier, we have the same grid stitching up on the shoulders. So what that means is as you tighten it, if you have extra material, we give you a grid so you can cut this off and reduce the, the uh, actual strap length so you don't have annoying strap overhang and just something that flaps. Uh, that's a personal pet peeve of mine. So we designed this so you can get rid of that and you can loosen it. It'll, it's fully adjustable. It'll fit large frames, small frames. It'll fit about anything our Testudo would. Again, a full size plate carrier compatible with 10 by 12 armor. So what's nice about laminate is again, it keeps the weight down, it keeps the profile down. It, it creates kind of a snag free plate carrier design, has a cummerbund, it's full featured. Um, has an admin pocket with a Hypalon uh, pull tab. So on a laser cut carrier, a common problem is actually it begins to sag over time because what you're using is a laser table and a laser machine to cut the laminate. So on the inside of this, this nylon, this Cordura, is actually a laminate backing and that's what makes it durable and strong, opposed to it being a traditional 500 or 1000 D denier nylon. So what we wanted to do to address the issue is we perimeter stitch around each laser cut. That adds a lot of labor and it adds a lot of cost, but it is worth it in the long run for durability and longevity. And you'll notice on uh, some carriers that, that have a lot of gear and are meant to be load bearing that do not have the perimeter stitch on the laminate, you'll start to see sagging and stretching of the material, which generally means the carrier will be fine. Aesthetically, it's unpleasing, but this will give you a better long-term uh, secure fit of your load bearing equipment in your pouches by having the perimeter stitching on each section of laminate. Um, other features include a low profile and very flush drag handle that is reinforced. Also, what's in here is it's actually a rigid piece, so it's very easy to grab, but will maintain flush. And that was a critical design component of the Invictus. It's making it a snag free design, making it as thin as low profile as possible while still being a full size plate carrier. And uh, it's fully adjustable from the back as well on the cummerbund. Otherwise, it's a full featured carrier. So if you're into that uh, low profile, um, laminate laser cut style, the Invictus is a fantastic plate carrier. Um, we highly recommend you check it out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and as always, Thank you guys for your support and patience with us, with us while we work through these times. We're hiring like crazy and doing everything we can to get orders out the door as quickly as possible. Uh, take care and stay safe.